be kind Please, let's get out of our mind Please, let's leave the evil and drama behind We can all seek what we wish to find We have to take a break and get out of the daily grind We have to look Hello, everyone! My name is Bruce Wilson. I'm a general partner and executive director of Art So Wonderful. I'm here with my wonderful friend and also part, partner of mine in, in different types of businesses and especially poetry pioneer, this is Candace Owens. And this is the Candace Moment Show. And so Candace, it is always nice to see you and talk to you about all the wonderful things you're doing in life. And, and man, I'm so glad you share with everybody who we, you know, work with or deal with or people who just like what we do and like what you do. You know, I, I had to share because because for me, you do a lot. You say, you know, you give me some inspiring words and you always talk to me with the good affirmations and keep me on that narrow path, you know, all the time. You know, even though I know you'd be mad sometimes. <laughs> I know it. You can't help but be, be mad sometimes when you're talking to me. But then you like use the bright, wonderful, godly, warm feeling words, warm and fuzzy words that damn turn me back to the good person again. So, Candice, this is Candice Moultrie. What's good? How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Feeling really good. How about you? Well, I had a long day today, of course, and I'm like, this, oh God, yeah. Had, um, some Zoom meetings. You know, I like Zoom meetings. I didn't think I, I'm used to being the person that boots on the ground. I always want to be right in your face with stuff. And I still am that way, but thank God for those Zoom meetings, mm -hmm. you know. So people will say that, um, some people say COVID was the, and, and I would second that, you know, that it was the worst thing happened with people dying and, you know, catching, oh, it was pitiful. You know, I would say that's a sex that was very pitiful. But there's some good things that we always look at you YouTube. We always find out what's good within something that seems bad. And what good is it that the Zoom meetings came. We get to do our work at home. You know, <laughs> they didn't stop. I think they're going to stop the Zoom and they're going to stop this being at home working. No, nope. still goes on. And they said that most the work today, being people being at home, is more productive. And plus, they, they're more happier to do the work. And they actually do more work than they would normally do if they were at the office. Then they get to spend time with their kids. You know, they get to, you know, do, you know, lap around the house while they're working. Wow, man, how good is that? What do you think about that, Candice? I think it's, I don't know. Um, I think COVID was both good and bad. I think it, it, it forced it to kind of, face a lot of things that we couldn't because we stay busy and every day it's bad because we had so much loss of life um but I'm glad that it, we figured out a way to continue and I feel like you know nowadays that it has brought a lot of technology to the forefront mm -hmm. so that so many people are like wow it's easy to connect with someone around the world you know mm -hmm. you can and we can see each other and of course it's not the same as being in person because you know People, of course, have their body language and a vibe and everything that you can't always necessarily pick up through the computer screen, but you can still like connect. And so I think it's awesome. And working from home, I think everybody should be able to, well, you can't have everybody because a lot of people you have to be in person to do your job. But if your job allows it, you know, even one day at home, I think is so beneficial to our mental health because you're not fighting traffic, you're not having to do all that. And, um that's just my opinion, though. I think that, like you said, de depending on how you look at things, you can find good and bad in everything. So yeah, yeah, you got you got to you. I mean, you got to find some what's good and something that seems to be bad all the time. Because a positive, if you add up a positive and a negative, it's always going to be a negative. Mm -hmm. And if you add, so you want positive, positive, positive with equal positive. And so that's what I try to do. You know, I'm not. It take people like you to keep me on this straight and narrow path all the time because what I, what would a person do without a Candace moment? Gosh. Woo. Wow, man. Well, and I picked oh. out, because we're talking about um, imperfect, like, you know, how we're all out here. Well, not that's not what we were talking about, but we picked out a poem that I was going to read today to start us out just to kind of oh, set wow. it. Um, wow. And that's then good. it's called I Am. Mm. And so it says, 
I am the person who seems to always be late. I promise I'm trying my best and I'm worth the wait. I'm just lost in, lost in thoughts, deep in motion. Deep, sorry. I'm just lost deep in thoughts and emotions at the moment. I apologize for as getting distracted as my weakest component. I forget dates and times that are extremely important for me to know. I forgive myself and I just smile and go with the flow. I'm perfectly imperfect in all that I say and do. I am just enjoying the moment and trying not to subdue. I'm trying my best every day and my dreams are in my field of view. We are all out here trying our best to make our dreams come true. Can I ask you, please, not, please do not judge me as I know I have a lot to do. Also, ask yourself before you talk of others, what if they were you? Nice. Yeah. That's so. nice. Is that in is that in the book? Not yet. That's not in, that's not no, not yet. That's gonna be one of the ones that Ooh, that's coming soon, everybody. Whoa, yeah. since you said that. Since you said that, Candice, what do you think about people? You know, like God, you know, there's so many people do a lot of work like you do. You got so much to do around the house and work, and you gotta deal with um Poetry Pioneer, you have to do your cable, your podcasts, your cable shows, da, 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 so much stuff, you know. You got to deal with the chickens and the goose. Mm. The chickens and the goose, matter of fact, how are they doing? They're doing really good. Doing good. Yeah. Doing good, really good. Yeah. You know, and you do all these wonderful things. You know, we, God knows we're not perfect. That's why we That's why we try to be, continue to be per not perfect. We not, who want to be perfect? We just continue to learn stuff and get better. Our job is to keep getting better. Mm -hmm. That's what it is, you know. Anybody who won't think said they're perfect, you know, we don't, we don't, we don't. Um, I don't know who your higher power is, but God bless you, or whoever your higher power bless you. But there are sometimes it's not sometimes it can happen all the times. Like people just do not get credit. For the hundred, the you know, the all these wonderful things they do, you know, and then but they always do so wonderful. They treat people nice. They give respect. They you know do a good job at work. They really put thought in for who they are, what they do in this life, and about people who they um. If you do this type of work, I do, and you do with serve people. You know, you work at an incredible place where <laughs> you always got to serve somebody. And I don't know, probably over twenty thousand people go to your in your Yes, of the woods, you know, and so then all of a sudden, you know, and with me and anybody else, you know, you know, some somebody was telling me a story that you know, you, you, one thing that you, one thing that maybe didn't happen is where it normally happens, and then a person said, "Oh, you know what, Bruce? I knew that one thing about you that you was gonna, you know, this, that, and other, and it wasn't perfect. I knew you wasn't perfect. I knew something happened to you. You, you know, you you did something bad, and and you know, and then all that ninety nine percent of the things that you've done and do and and try to continue to it's always it's it's a it, it's a no-brainer if you do a ninety-nine percent or one hundred, you uh, ninety-nine percent good. You know, I don't care if it's ninety-one percent good. Obviously, you try to do the good stuff all the time, and there's, there's always somebody to say, you know, that don't don't think. I don't. I don't know. I guess I'm trying to ask you that. I, you know, people get their you know all the work they do and 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 trying to do good and are doing good, and then the one one thing that might have slipped by and they forgot to cross the T or dot the I or some some shit. And then all of a sudden somebody like, you know, I knew this person was that and that person this, that and the other. You know, what what do you think about that? Well, I think it's just crazy. I think that our society, um I don't want to say it's been programmed. We almost have it. It's just part of what we do that, you know, you could do, like you said, or like anyone's, you can do 99 things right and one thing wrong. And that's the one thing that stands out. And I think it's because we put so much focus on being so serious all the time and everything happened to be right. And, oh my gosh, you can't make a mistake. You got to like, you know, we've got spell check. We've got all these technology advances. And so then people are like, well, you should have done this. You should have done that. And it's like, my favorite saying is I do my best to heck with the rest. You know what I mean? Like that's all that we can do. And if it's not good enough for whoever the people are, then I think it's just a reflection of maybe they need to take a minute and show some grace because, and that's why I like to start out with that poem because it's like, 
Oh. We all have mornings we're running late. We all have times that we're trying and, you know, we call the wrong person or we, you know, lose a, a debit card or something happens and life throws us off. And I was reading a book by Eckhart Tolle. I think I'm saying his name right. Um, it was called The Presence of Now. And it, it the reason I like the book is because there's, I'm not going to quote it exactly right because I don't have it in front of me. But it was talking about um, ducks. It had a, so that's how I knew I was reading the right book. It had an analogy about ducks. And it says that when ducks fight, they flap, their, like they, they will have their fight. And then they, whoever wins, they just go the opposite way on the pond and they flap their wings and they release the energy from the fight. And it says that humans, we get in our head and we think, oh, well, somebody did this on purpose or why did this happen? Or, you know, why did they, you know, this they did this on purpose, you know, like intent. And I think that um, we need to be more like ducks. And whenever stuff happens or there's a mistake, or even if it's something that we've done or somebody else does, we just need to let it go and be like, look, mm-hmm. we're all trying our best. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that the more we do that, the the better things are going to be. I don't know. I can't say I'm hard on my son because believe me, if he gets, if he brings home an F, I don't care if he's got B's all year, you need to get that F up. Sure. Um, so I'm like, I don't want to be like, but at the same time, it's the effort that counts. I know yeah. he has the potential to do more. So I think there's just finding that balance. Yeah. Yeah. But still know that, you know, you know, maybe, you know, God, I, I can count the A's I made in from high school to college. I can count them probably like uh one no <laughs> oh yeah I didn't do this all. you know no. I can count the grades out the great the good grades I got I mean and um I don't know if that I don't know if that you know I, I know oh more mainly because I got those grades because good lord I didn't I didn't I didn't like that what I had to do for a uh, uh, test I didn't like uh the class I'm not good at art or whatever you know and and. And then those weren't my ambitions, you know what I mean? So I didn't work hard at those things. And, and then quite frankly, I didn't give a damn, you know what I'm saying? If I got a D plus, I'm happy. My family might have been, would, would, they get happy. But if I got a D plus, or, you know, as long as I passed, put it that way, I was happy with that. I was just busy looking out the window and be like, get me out of here. Why are they in here teaching me all this crap that <laughs> this makes no sense? And then I'd ask questions they couldn't answer. And they're like, why are you asking so many questions? And I'm like, because this doesn't make sense. Like I didn't. So I finally just gave up and I was like, you know, I'm like, whatever. I'm just trying to get out of here so I can do what I need to do. Like what um, do I need to do? Wow. I get you. I get it. So I guess, you know, I can understand why people be like that, but you know, but then there's some the part of the coin too, which the, you're so humble. I always tell, I say, Candace, that's what we're supposed to be humble, be humble, and, and get wisdom, and wisdom leads to long life. And I stand by that, and you know, I say, I don't know how many times you heard me say that, and you are too, but sometimes I say, Candace, it's time to kick some ass, Ron. <laughs> we're humble. We can still be humble. And kick, we still can kick some ass and be humble. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you're laughing at me, but like you're doing that. <laughs> but you know I mean it. You know I mean it. Now, whatever. Yes, ma'am. Well, anyway, so uh, so what's it, what's it like that out there in the country? Well, I'm inside today because it's fall. And so the mornings are cold here and then it gets warm in the afternoon. But I stay cold the entire day. That's why I got this jacket on. I'm like sitting inside. I'm like, I'll go out and find the wind blows and I get cold. Oh, God. But it's beautiful. I went walking on my lunch and sat out there and sunbathed and mm-hmm. got my vitamin D. There so, you go. Yeah. You, got it, you, know, you know, you better get your vitamin D. I ain't. Oh, yes. Uh, you know, I ain't playing that no light day. Woo! No! Yeah, it's the same about here in Vermont. It's, um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually zooming in one of my, one of my favorite conference rooms in uh, the library. Because uh, I come to, if I was in anybody, any state in America, I'm in the library. I probably got like four or five uh, library cards because I have, you know, real estate in here and there around different places around the country. So I'm always going to the libraries just to check them out. 
quiet space for me. I was trying to get away from our new office, Candice. Woohoo! We're, to, we're going there. I just met my I knew you youth director, Armella Chetis. Yeah. Wow, she is incredible. And um, she's a youth service provider. She's 24 years old. And she's working on her master's degree. Um she's from Nepal. Okay. Yeah, I know, right? It's our, those are peeps. There's our peeps across the way. And um, and so she and she speaks three different languages. And um, she'll be able to help us interpret some things. Yeah. And um, so she, boy, she's gonna be in charge. I know we got new interns coming in from uh, St. Michael's College. And, and I think she's like grabbing some from UVM, University of Vermont College. University, I should say. And um, so we're going to, our, our center down, um, Bright for Kids Foundation Center is going to be like incredible. In the office, she's going to be help. She's going to be in an office that, our office, that's going to be, you know, um, Poetry Party and our so wonderful office and that we have, that I grabbed. Mm -hmm. We have some, I said, I want this one. It's by the boardroom. And I grabbed that one, so I'm going to have meetings in the boardroom. So it's four offices upstairs. And um, I got the, the last one next to the boardroom. So that's going to be cool. And they got a kitchen in it. Boy, they did some more. I'm going to take a video. And so much work done in that place. I've seen, I seen it. Wow, it's beautiful. But anyways, so she's our youth director. She's got a lot to do. And she's, she's so excited because she's going to be doing a lot. And she's already done. She just sit here and wrote up. And I said, did you want to sit in and, and meet Candace? You know, I'm about to talk to her. She said, oh, I'm going to see me again. I'm going to go ahead and finish up with what we talked about. How you like that? You know, she was going to finish up with everything that we just talked about. Yeah. And I could feel that spirituality with her and within her and her family. You know, Nepal, you know, joke, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's a lot of things happen there. You know what I mean? A lot of things that um, continue to get better. Mm -hmm. And she and she support, at her age, young age, she support her uh -huh. family. Yeah. You, you know that she supports her family, man. At her young age, she's 24. She paid rent, da, 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 you know. So, ah, does she have the the spirituality for about working with people, you know, talking about community and family? She's so smart, man. So, we're lucky to have her. And then you'll meet her ne um, next next time. Maybe I'll bring her on the cable show or something. Or something. You know, I told you she'd come in. Maybe she'd come on our um, podcast. So yeah, then you, you got a podcast coming up on the 16th or something like that this month? Yeah. yeah. Um, let me see when it is. I didn't look that up. We have an, a podcast come in where our winner from our last contest join us. Super excited about that. Wow. So well, oh yeah. So they coming on, right? Yeah, they're coming on. And then just as a reminder, our current contest is still open. Theme is freedom. Submissions, you can submit www.poetrypioneer.com. I check in. We've got some really good submissions. I'm really excited so far. Um, so wow. that's that's going really good. Well, I'm not gonna let you read 183 by no, I'm gonna honest. Oh, I feel so bad about that. Well, what I'm excited about is when I looked, you know, one of the questions is the country that you're from, like what country are you from? And I um don't get me wrong. I want to have more impact locally. Of course, we want to impact our local community. But with the way the world is right now, um, there's like six or seven. We've got some new countries that have entered. There's someone from Kenya already. Um, so I'm really, really excited that it's expanding to even yeah. even Nationally. more. I mean, that, uh, open, yeah, worldly. That's yeah, because that's going to connect us, right? Despite politics or religion or anything we're all connecting yes and yeah and that's huge i feel like right now that is huge and like you I'm, know i'm so happy to be a part of it yeah me too I, i'm glad to be a part of it too and you know just think like all the people around the world who tunes in to our podcast and our cable shows and you know and <clears throat> your you know your show uh candace moment show like right now we're candace moment show and they learn we learn from them and they learn from us. You know, yeah. we'll be able to share that what they're thinking with through their poetry or affirmations or whatever they want to say that's good, um, to everybody who watches us. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Because you know, um, it's only gonna be that way if we do if we if we do it this way. You know what I'm saying? People need to this is exactly what you said before I just start saying. 
taking credit for what you just said. No. <laughs> oh, no, you're fine. And I've gotten several emails and, and Instagram messages from people that are just thankful that we're using our platform to do this. And they think it's a great initiative, you know, because it's free. And I think that nowadays everyone, you know, yeah, I, I, we, we've got books, you know, I've got a book out, we've got things going on, mm -hmm. but our, of course we want to make money along the way, but our goal is bigger than that. Our goal is to make an impact. Um, okay. and right. so yeah. Really awesome. So yeah, everything's, everything works in divine order, you know? Mm -hmm. And so uh, as far as, um, you know, if, if money, <laughs> If money was the whole thing I do, I'd probably be a trillionaire by now. Yeah. You know? But um, I know I would be, you know, or somewhere near that around. But it wasn't. It's not about the money. It's about the people. It's about where our heart lies. Mm -hmm. It's about the light shining bright on people. It's about just standing on a narrow path and working in the divine order and and just um. Knowing that we're just everything about it is too great to measure. And if you know all those things, that's way bigger than money. You can't count that at all. Everything will come to you in, in the ways it's supposed to, because it come and it's gonna come too great to measure. And well, I get that, I get paid back just by knowing that we're making an impact in people's lives. That's what I'm talking about. And so that is more valuable mm -hmm. than anything because I don't know. I feel like nowadays it's easy, not easy. Anybody can go out and make some money, but not anybody can make a difference. Um, mm -hmm. And so if you can, if you make the ability to do both then you succeed, I feel like, but either way, it all works out the way it's supposed to. And right now, I think people are even saying online that well, the algorithm I'm in says that people are wanting through over the news. They want authentic people. They want people that have, you know, mess ups that aren't perfect, that not everything's scripted. People want real. And I think that's right. what life do. experience. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt about it. I think I got to do, I think you got to write a new poem about uh, what you just, just said. <laughs> it's, stick, it's sticking with me. You know, you're going to, you're going to make money, but you can't, who's making a real difference? You know, and that's a good one. Yeah. I'm probably going to see that as an affirmation in, in tomorrow. <laughs> Everybody. Okay. <laughs> so, gosh, gosh, you've been doing a lot. Mm -hmm. Um. So, last thing I talked to you about, you were doing some work around the house. You cut down a damn tree. I saw okay. the tree. You sent me the tree. I didn't yeah. cut it down. We had to pay somebody, but it was a big pine tree. So, yeah. Pine tree. Well, mm -hmm. you should. You, you are you gonna use the wood to build a chicken coop? Oh no, they took the wood. It's gone. Oh. No. Was that part of the deal? Yeah, you can't really do anything with pines because it's so sticky. There's like maple, not maple, pine tree. some kind of sap. That's what it is. There's sap in it and it gets everywhere. Mm -hmm. Well, that was good. They just got, at least they, it was part of the holiday in a way. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. So how, so you got a, you got an opening spot. Now you got some light shining coming through that, that area. Yeah, it feels kind of bare. I'm like, I want my tree back. Um, But yeah. I'll get used to it. <laughs> you should have trimmed it then. I saw it. Take my house out. It I saw it leaning towards no, the no. house. I saw it leaning towards the house. And I mean, yeah. Well, don't cry, man. Don't wipe your weeping eyes. You know, but at least it's, for me, it's, at least it's clear that you don't see no damn crazy ass coyotes or woof or all the wild things that are running around your area. At least you can see them now. They won't come up to, to a, a spot that they you know, like a, a hiding place. That's true. See, there's some good things. Just everything that seems to be bad, mm -hmm. always some, you find something good about it. And I know, you know, you wanted that damn tree good, gone because check out your damn house. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a good, that would have been a good $50,000 to repair easy if that had hit your house. That, just that section alone, no telling what it might have done, pushed mm -hmm. it over some or whatever, or whatever. You know, yeah. Well, how's the, how's the light boy doing? Doing good, just keeping yeah. me on my toes. Huh? He's in the tween stage, and it's keeping oh, me on my toes. He's Whoa, trying boy. to out dominate me, and I'm like, nope, we're gonna just keep going. Nope. Ain't no mama, ain't no mama ever been smarter than a tween or a teen. Well, he's gonna, <laughs> he ain't gonna he ain't gonna oh, he does not run this house. So I <laughs> keep reminding him that on a daily basis. I'm like, let's be clear. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
You can remind all you want to, but I'm telling you, those chemistry in our body is something else. Man, something else, girl. But anyways, you know, I don't want him to do, be, you just keep reminding him because that's what you got to do. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> maybe break, buy him a book or some shit, you know. I'm as working we, on it. As we grow up, you know, I mean, these are the things that happen to us, you know. You yeah. Know, physiology changes. You know, I don't care. It's like we used to do this program called Dare. Dare to. Oh yeah, I remember that. You heard about yeah. the Dare program, the Dare program, and then like you know they started that shit early, like middle school, or elementary school, and then as soon as they get in high school, the Dare program don't be damn thing no more because everything changed. You know, you mm -hmm. first of all when you're in high school, I mean middle school, you you start your 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 body starts changing when you're around eight years old. You start thinking about you see pretty girls and pretty guys. And then it's eight years old. Then there's 16 year old. I think it's 16. Yeah. Maybe 12, but 16. And that's when that like, sweet 16, you know. And then there's yeah. 18 years old. And then there's 21 year old. And then so for the dare the dare program don't mean a damn thing because things change in your body and you're trying different things. So it don't mean nothing. Well, he ain't there yet, thankfully. I, I hate to catch, we're running at about, it looks like we got about two minutes left right. after, before the recording's going to stop. Sure. So. sure. so um, he's a good boy. You know, he does a lot of incredible things. You know, like karate, piano, yeah, a lot of shit. You know, and so, you know, hey, it's all good. So let's see here. What, oh, do you, did you have a poem you want to end with? Um. Let me see if I pulled one up. I don't think so. I think I was gonna see if I could end with some audio. Um, oh yeah, but when did he talk about your two songs? Yeah, well, the <laughs> other one I deleted. I didn't like it. I'm gonna make another one. Um, well, I got one. Song. Another one. Oh no, the the one that the other person made is still on there. But then I took the leap and made my own song using AI. Well, see. So I'm trying to. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to make some, some millions off your off the things you do. Um, so let's hear it. All right, let me share my screen. Tell give them sure. tell 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 the um Candace Moments audience what this is about, and then we're gonna um go out with um, it. Um, so this poem is about oh sorry, I didn't share. Let me go back. This song is about um being kind. And I'm gonna take a minute and I'm gonna my favorite song. I mean my favorite poem. No, that's my favorite song. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Please be kind. Please, let's get out of our mind. Please, let's leave the evil and drama behind. We cannot seek what we wish to find. We have to take a break and get out of the daily grind. We have to look at what we are truly assigned. We cannot let the world keep heading towards a climb. To wake up as we have been designed Even though some can see Are we all a form of blind? What has happened to mankind? Things have become gods And humans have been mined We are all one We are humankind Let's all realign Let us unlock our unconscious mind We can change the world by breaking free Let's leave the evil and drama behind We cannot seek what we wish to find We have to take a break and get out of the daily grind We have to look at what we are truly assigned We cannot let the world keep heading towards a climb We have to wake up as we have been designed Even though some can see, are we all a form of blind? What has happened to mankind? Things have become gods and humans have been mined we are all one, we are humankind Let's all realize